students how are you all i hope you all are fine today we will see standard 6 and subject science in that chapter number 9 the living organisms its characteristic and habits we will see in the first video up to main 4 today we will see main 5 answer the following questions in a one sentence it carries one mark each see the number 1 see the question number 1 What do rats and snakes do to escape the intense heat during the day? Answer is to escape from the intense heat during the day. Rats and snakes stay in burrows deep in the sand. See the question number two. What type of trees are found in mountain regions? Answer is the trees found in mountain regions are normally cone-shaped. have sloping branches and needle like leaves see the question number 3 which feature of a snow leopard protects its feet from the cold when it walks on the snow answer is snow leopard has a thick fur on its body including feet and toes to protect its feet from the cold when it walks on the snow see the question number 4 what adaptations do the stems of aquatic plants have answer is the stems of aquatic plants are long hollow and light moreover they grow up to the surface of water see the question number 5 which gas is absorbed and released during the process of photosynthesis answer is during the process of respiration plants absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide see the question number 6 What adaptations do the leaves of desert plants have? Answer is the leaves in the desert plants are either very small, less in number and transformed into spines to reduce water loss by transpiration. See the question number 7. What adaptations in the feet of frog help it to swim in a water? Answer is frogs have webbed feet. which help them to swim in water see the question number 8 list the types of terrestrial habits habitats answer is number 1 forest grasslands desert fourth number 4 four, coastal regions number 5 mountain regions number 9 list the types of aquatic habitats answer is number 1 ponds two lakes three rivers fourth one ocean fifth one marshy areas now see the def define number 1 adaptations answer is the presence of specific features and habits which enable a plant or an animal to live in a particular habitat is called adaptations number 2 stimuli changes in our surroundings that make us respond to them are called stimuli now see the next page see the number 3 excretion the process of getting rid of their waste is by the living organisms is known as excretion number 4 reproduction the production of new individuals of similar in form is called reproduction number 5 habitat the surroundings where an organism lives is called that is called its habitat See the main seven. Answer the following questions in a sort. Two marks each. Number one. State the names of animals and plants that are found in mountain regions. Answer is animals found in mountain regions: snow leopard, yak, mountain goat, white bear, etc. Plants found in mountain regions: oak, pine, deodar, etc. Now see the number two. state the names of animals and plants that are found in desert animals found in deserts are camel kangaroo rat snake mux deer etc plants found in deserts are babul acacia date palm cactus etc number 3 how do whales and dolphins breathe answer is whales and dolphins do not have gills they breathe in air through nostrils or blow holes that are located on the upper parts of their heads this allows them to breathe in air when they swim near the surface of water 
they can stay inside the water for a long time without breathing they come out to the surface from time to time to breathe in air see the question number 4 what are the adaptations in animals living in mountain regions answer is the adaptations in animals living in mountain regions are as follows they have thick skin or fur to protect them from cold example yak snow leopard has a thick fur on its body including feet and toes this protects its feet and body from the cold when it walks on a snow the mountain goat has strong hooves for running up the rocky slopes of the mountains see the question number 5 what adaptations of a lion help him as a predator answer is the following adaptations of a lion help him as a predator a lion lives in a forest or a grassland and is a strong animal that can hunt and kill animals like deer its light brown color helps it to hide in a dry grasslands when it hunts for prey the eyes in front of the face allow it to have a correct idea about the locations of its prey see the question number 6 what are the adaptations found in deer living in grassland answer is the adaptations found in deer living in grasslands are as follows it has strong teeth for chewing hard stumps hard stems of the forest plants a deer has long ears to hear movements of predator its eyes are on the side of its head which allow it to look in all directions for predator the speed of the deer helps them to run away from the predators see the question number 7 state the features of living organisms answer is living organisms have the following features number 1 they need food number 2 they grow number 3 they respire number 4 they respond to stimuli number 5 they move number 6 they excrete and number 7 they reproduce now see the number 8 is the floating cloud in the sky a biotic or an abiotic component why answer is cloud floating in the sky is abiotic due to the following reasons it goes from one place to another due to the action of wind it cannot move on its own this is not the feature of a living organisms it does not grow respire or eat it cannot reproduce either see the number 9 how can you say that a periwinkle barmacy plant is a living answer is periwinkle plant respires it absorb carbon dioxide from the pores on its leaves and release oxygen in the atmosphere it absorbs minerals and water from the soil and uses them as a food it grows from sapling to a big plant new periwinkle plants germinate from periwinkle seeds hence we say that periwinkle plant is a living see the question number 10 is a train living or a non living give reasons in support of your answer answer is train is a non living due to the following reasons train goes from one place to another it does so by consuming fuel it cannot go from one place to another on its own it does not grow with time like living organisms do it does not require food it cannot reproduce and give birth to a new train hence a train moves but then two it is non living now we will see the main eight in the next video part 3 stay safe stay healthy okay bye